Oh, phew. Oh, phew. Okay, um... Yeah, these guys, uh, we'll come back to those, but Flair just fainted due to poison. So, uh, hey, we made it to Rustboro City. Alright, so let's go to the Pokemon Center and then go back and fight those guys. And I actually want to show that fight on screen because it's quite important. So yeah, we'll rest our Pokemon there. Alright, so I'm going to cook, guys, and I'll meet you back at that battle. Alright, guys, here we go. Mia, we are twins, so we battle Pokemon together. Alright, so this is the first instance that we have of double battles. Yes, this is a new feature in Generation 3. And this is also the first time we've seen a Lotad. Dot is the Ruby exclusive, which is what we've got. And Lotad is the Sapphire exclusive. Now, you might be wondering who the hell is Mycetism. Mycetism is our new Shroomish, guys. And that is one of the key reasons I actually wanted to show this battle. Um, just after I beat that lass, I actually went back to Petalburg and caught myself a Shroomish. It was actually the first try. And I... I think right now I'm just going to show you what happened there. Hey! We got the shroomish that I was looking for. First try, get in there. Yes! Uh, I do want to whittle its health down a little. We're going to go ahead and switch it to Surska here. Which is arguably the crappiest Pokemon in our team. And we're not even going to use it. But, hey, it can chip away a little bit. Like, no, it can't. It, the stream has absorbed. Great. How much does Bubble do? Not very much. Okay, well... Uh, well, it can chip away just a little bit, I guess. Alright, come on. You got this, Sasuke. You got this, okay. I'm gonna throw a Pokeball. I don't have that many Pokeballs. I can't waste this opportunity. Please. Oh god. That's not good. Okay, Surskit is down. Okay. We're double the levels. But I think I'm going to have to give it a go. Come on. Don't kill it. Okay, it didn't kill it. Oh, phew. Okay, okay. Arguably, it did a lot less damage than I thought it would. And we get poisoned. That's not great. That's the first time we've ever been poisoned. Come on, scratch one more time. Don't kill it. Oh, phew. Ah. Oh. Okay, that's okay. That's not bad. It's going to use Absorb on us. That's, that's not good. Um, all right. I'm going to use that Great Ball because I really want this Shroomish. Come on. Come on. Come on. Yeah! Okay, we got the shroomish, guys. Alright. That's exactly what I wanted to get. Phew. That was really close. Uh, this is going to be the third member of our team. Shroomish live in damp soil in the dark depths of forests. They are often found keeping still under fallen leaves. This Pokemon feeds on compost that is made up of fallen, rotted leaves. Alright, so, uh, yes, we are going to give uh, Shroomish a nickname, and I'm going to just think for a little bit here, so, yeah. Alright, so I've got a name, guys, and it is my, my select. There is no select on this, so I'm going to have to go over to it. My, uh, where's the Y? My... Se T Mycetism. That's what we're gonna call this. Mycetism is death by mushroom poisoning. Um so yeah, it's quite fitting considering this is a poison type mushroom. So yeah. That's what we're calling our shroomish. Okay, so um yeah, that was fun, wasn't it? Uh, yeah, we've now got ourselves a Shroomish that knows Absorb and Tackle. So, yeah, Lotad is a Water and Grass, so we're going to use Absorb on Lotad and Ember on C Dot. And there we go. Alright, so, yeah, Mycetism and Flare 
and Jokoi. Those are our team members at the moment. So yeah, this is gonna be pretty awesome to be honest. We've got quite a good team sort of rounding off. We've already got three members of our team and we're like, I think probably three, six episodes in, I don't know, something like that. Uh, Absorb's not doing much, but Ember will. I'm not surprised, uh, we're level six, so yeah. Anyway, actually we're not, yeah, Absorb's not doing much at all. Um, Astonish, that is a ghost type move, but I'm not going to go over the principles of Astonish. We're going to take out this low tad anyway. That was our first double battle, guys, and for a new feature in this game, it really revolutionised Pokemon just in general. My Statism goes to level 7 and learns Stun Spore. Very useful. Very, very useful. Um, and then we go to beat the Twins. So I'm going to meet you guys back at Rustborough, where we will possibly take on the gym or something, I don't know. Actually, first of all, I'm going to take on this fisherman. Why keep it a secret? I'm the water Pokemon expert. Huh? You don't know me? And, you know what? I'm going to leave this in here because, well, this is just a staple. Yes. There is a fisherman in every Pokemon game that simply uses Magikarp. Most fishermen do. <laughs> uses Splash, but nothing happened. Um, yeah, I just wanted to show that, I mean, it's uh, iconic at this point, <laughs> all they know is Splash, <laughs> and this is going to be an easy hell of a battle, so yeah, anyway, I'll see you guys back at Rustboro Gym, and actually guys, if we go over here and talk to this old lady, she will tell us, if you see berries growing in loamy soil, feel free to take them, but make sure you plant a berry in the same spot, that's common courtesy, it won't do anything because our clock is dead, here, I'll share this with you. And if you talk to her, you will get a Chesto Berry, which cures a Pokemon from sleep instantly. So, yeah, here we also get two Leper Berries. And these are the berries that you want to cultivate the most if your game's clock is not broken or you're playing on an emulator that somehow has a clock that's working. Those berries restore PP, and those are the only way you can actually cultivate PP generating items. Ethers are completely 100% um, You can't get them from shops or anything you can only get them from the world you go up here by behind this fence We find something called an X defend that will actually be quite useful to us in the gym battle I think I might use that um, Not many people use these items, but what it does you use it and it boosts the Pokemon that you've used it on it boosts their defense uh, attack whatever respectively in the battle for for the duration of the battle unless you switch them out uh, over here we look at this this is the cutter's house so we're going to want to go in here i know i said i'd meet you back at the uh, rustboro gym but that's not going to happen just yet uh yeah we'll talk to this guy no wait don't say a word i can tell just by looking at you i'm sure that you'll be capable of putting this hm to good use no need to modding to try to go on just take it so we now get the hmo1 cut and that's our first hm uh, HM's hidden moves, they are pretty much, uh, you can teach your, the Pokemon to move, you can use that move in the field, like here. So those trees that we saw in Petalburg Woods, we can actually cut them down once we get the gym badge from uh, Rustboro City. So there's that. Um, yeah. Also, if we head over here, this is the Pokemon Trainer School. So, yeah, there's not much we have to do here, we're just going... Go up here, talk to the teacher. No, yeah, he'll do this. He'll be like, ah, oh, let's see what the class is doing. Then he'll come over to us. Students who don't study get a little taste of my quick claw. Wow, that sounds, um, that sounds like old way to teach students. Jesus, you still give, instead of giving them the cane, it's like, we'll give you the quick claw. He's like slashing at his students if they do something wrong. Wow. This is an abusive teacher. He would not last long in today's society, I'll tell you that. Whether or not you are a good student will be evident from the way you use this item. Obtain the Quick Claw. So this is where we actually get our first, like, proper hold item. Uh, Pokemon holding the Quick Claw has a, I don't know the actual chance, but it has a chance to go first in a battle, despite the fact that it's not using a priority move. Anyway, the gym is right here. And for this gym, I think we're gonna talk to this guy. Hey, 
Oh, what am I to do? We were on our walk, Pico and I, and we were jumped by an odd thug. The scoundrel made off with my darling Pico.